Okay, I just recorded a software simulation. Specifically, this was a training simulation. So on the first slide, I have instructions to press the Windows Start button. And on the second slide, I'm asking learners to type in Word, right? Microsoft Word. And on the third slide, I clicked on the open item right here in the list. But of course, as we all know, there's multiple ways that you can launch Word from this screen that you see here. So the trick here, I'm just gonna click in my scrap area to make sure that nothing else is selected. We can add additional click boxes, did you know? <laughs> so when I hover over the click box, it, you know, clearly I already have a click box because the check mark is there, but right next to it is a little plus icon. So if I click the plus icon, I have another click box. So now I can add that here. And of course the actions for each of these can be the same to go to the next slide, but I can have as many click boxes as, as possible because of course in Windows and other computer software, there's often multiple ways to do the same thing. So that's a great solution if you wanna create your training so that different styles of the way people perform their tasks can be captured by the software. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.